All right, guys, so today I am showing you one of the local clothes markets that's here in Athens. You know, I think if you go to the mall and you go to like H&M and Zara, it's the same price as the rest of Europe. But they have places like this that a lot of it's second hand, some of it's new, but it's definitely all really cheap. Take a look. You can tell by just the smell that this is real leather and everything is five euros. Can you believe that? Five dollars for a leather belt. Nice rugs here. People buying vegetables. Home stuff for one euro. Huge things of uh, probably saying not to <laughs> record, but I'm not gonna say I understand. Uh, three euros for clothing. It's huge too. Let's walk down and see what else we see. And I think in every neighborhood, a different day of the week, you have a different market and it moves around the city. All right guys, I just looked up for you. These weekly markets are called Likey Agora, which means public market or people's market. We know them as farmer's markets. And they've actually been happening in Greece for over a hundred years as a way to get farmers to be able to sell their their goods uh, in town and there is a, a link uh, i'll link it below of all the different neighborhoods and cities where you know where they are but it's all greek so it's a bit hard to read my suggestion is when you book an airbnb just ask your host when the the, the market is especially if you've been staying for a week or longer i highly recommend checking it out they start at 7 a.m but here's a little t pro tip for you guys if it's kind of a, a busy season and you want to get the best fresh, like the freshest uh, vegetables, go early because the best stuff sells out. But if you want to save some money, go after 1 p.m. because prices actually lower before they close. I think they close around 3 or 4. So if you go a little bit later in the afternoon and they haven't sold out everything, they drop the prices by half so you can save a lot of money. That's maybe why everything was so cheap when I went there have a different market and it just moves around the city that way you never actually have to go to a grocery store you can buy literally everything that you want including nice and grilled sobakis and i like that the prices are actually marked and right now the euro and the dollar is basically on parity, so it's let's say five dollars for a kilo, which is one point or no, two point two pounds. Potatoes. You have lots of vegetables. Really cheap, fifty cents for a big bunch of uh, green onions. Fresh vegetables. Fish. Nice. I'll get and see. Lots of olives as well. Chestnuts. Will be nice. You know, I'll be honest, I've been going to the supermarket right next to my house for some time. But a lot of like fruits and vegetables. Hello, man. I think I'm going to buy it here. Hello, how are you? Hello. It's uh, every week? Okay. Every week you're here. This one, look at Every, every this, week? This. Friend, how are you? Good. It's an uh, olive. It's a green olive. Ah. Uh, but you cannot eat it. You need to, uh, you need to uh, make it. Yeah. Uh, make it the water salt. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, head of stuff. <laughs> Thank you. Really nice people, actually. 80 cents a kilo for this giant. Look how big this is compared to my head. Can't even grab it. It's like a basketball. Fresh fish. It's not a requirement to wear masks anywhere, but some of the older people still like to wear it. But nobody says anything if you don't. It's completely up to you. Fresh pomegranates as well. That's actually not a bad price for pomegranates. I remember, guys, this is November. It's still sunny out. 
there's great vegetables and fruits. I can smell these oranges from where I am. These little tangerines. Probably good. I'll get some of these. You know, the thing about living in Athens, and kind of one of my favorite things about it is, even though it is in the EU, it is in the Schengen zone, it's a whole new world. You have some things that you would have in Western or Eastern Europe, but you also have a lot of life that you would have in Turkey, or you would have in like, you know, Lebanon or in Israel. Like it's really, it's a, it's a combination of, of life. And we're basically two stops from the, the city center. Uh, some people would even consider this still the center. And you have markets like this every week. And it's not like a fancy farmer's market, even though a lot of these things are from farmers or locally grown organic. It just where everyday people come and buy their fruits and vegetables. Look, fresh spinach for one euro. Oh my god. I'm gonna get some of this, guys. Have a for one euro of peppers as well and one euro of spinach. Look at this, guys. Look what we can get for two dollars. This is this is a few pounds, probably three, four pounds worth of spinach. A couple of pounds of noodles. Here's five. Thank you. Cut us up at three back. Guys, for exactly two dollars, I got enough vegetables to feed probably a family of four. Look at this. Look, look at this. Look at these vegetables. Cut us up. Hello. Can I get uh, two euros? Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 It's more sweet? Easy. Easy. Come on All right, guys, so now I'm buying two euros worth of pomegranates. Pomegranates are super expensive in the US. They bought even just like a bottle of palm juice. That's what I get for two euros. It's two dollars. Yeah, okay. Head of so. Thank you. Wow, guys. Look at this. So, so far, I've spent. Four euros. It's four dollars. I can barely carry this back. I probably have three pounds of pomegranates, two pounds of spinach, a couple pounds of peppers. That's amazing. Alright, I'm buying a tray of eggs. They have many different types. But I think I'm just going to get these basic ones. Guys, there's a ton more, but I can barely carry all this, especially if I want to come with one hand. So I'm gonna grab a little snack and head home. But there's a lot more. I almost need one of those like granny uh, cart things that everyone has. She's smart. She has this. I think a lot of a lot of people do. But I'm gonna have one of these sticks. All day, guys.
Wow guys, look how good this looks. Come to Athens guys. Something different. Guys, I have so much stuff I can barely carry it all. All for less than 10 bucks. It doesn't help that I'm on the top floor. There's no elevator in the buildings. Guys. Guys, I'm not kidding you. If I had bought much more, I don't think I could have carried it home. Look at this. Let's see what we got. We got a giant, giant, giant bag of spinach. How many eggs is this? Like two dozen eggs. Huge bag of pomegranates. How many are in here? Maybe like 10 or 20 pomegranates. Probably 20 pomegranates. Some of the peppers as well. And some grilled sticks of meat as well. One, okay, let's count it out. This was one euro. This was one euro. This was two euros. These eggs were 15 cents each. So for a dozen, it would be like a dollar 80 a dozen or something. The uh, grilled sticks of meat, but the only thing that's a little bit more, they're one euro fifty each, but they're prepared and more just for a snack. But now I can finally fill, refill this this bowl that was full when I came. Guys, look at that. I just realized we have. Oh, that would have made my life so much easier. What do you call these things? Like a little trolley cart or something? Tell me. Are these common where you live? Because I feel like in Greece, it's like standard issue if you're some Greek yaya, like some babushka. Because it just makes your life so much easier. But I never see them in the US. And look, I'm not I'm kidding, I'm sweating carrying that. It was probably five blocks or something, so like half a mile, and then up three flights of stairs. But man, I'm like, that was a workout just for carrying those vegetables. I can't imagine how these grandmas do it. Guys, I still cannot believe these are 10 cents a piece. Only in Greece, guys. All right, I think we're eating a lot of uh, stir fry spinach and peppers because I have so much of it. All right, here we go, guys. Let's see it's so beautiful and sunny here i can't believe it mid-november too all right guys so today i'm going to show you the grocery store let's see how it compares against the prices at the local market this one's called a b and it's right next to my house Way to compare prices. Do you remember these 50 cent leaks that we saw? I think this is a bigger bunch, maybe double the size, but it's four to five times the price. These peppers that we bought here, it's two or three euros per kilo. Remember, we bought so many of them for one euro, like three, three or four kilos worth. Guys, right away, I can tell some market prices are way more than the local market. But these prices actually aren't bad compared to back home in the US or even back in the 
they seem like pretty normal prices because what two euro is basically two dollars and a kilo is 2.2 pounds so imagine a dollar a pound is that bad but what's better is 50 cents a pound in the market oh man these pomegranates this is huge difference. this is on sale so it's two dollars is it per piece or no it has to be per, per kilo but remember how many of these i got for two euros and they looked way nicer than these two and one last thing about the spinach i don't even know if they have spinach here if they do it's all look look, look how bad this looks it's all wobbly i wouldn't want to eat this but definitely way more expensive potatoes are about the same price actually here it's a little bit cheaper so instead of five kilos for five dollars here it's one dollar per kilo but these don't look as uh, good as the market ones. Same with the tomatoes too. Remember they were one euro 40, I think. So this is way more, way, way more. All right, now for eggs. Remember they were 16 cents a piece. Here, the cheapest one we can find is 260 for a dozen instead of 180. So definitely much, much more expensive, but I need eggs. This is crap. I think all of them have a feather in it. Alright, so I just have some essentials. Some uh, Greek lasagna, some chicken, some barley, and some eggs. So, 1051. I've had a Alright guys, so I still have plenty of uh, vegetables, uh, probably enough spinach to last a month and enough pe peppers to last a long time as well. Uh, so I just bought a couple of essentials, some more eggs, some chicken, some barley, and oh, a uh, moussaka, which is kind of like a Greek lasagna. Uh, I'm very, very happy that this is literally right next to my apartment. You can see my, my building right there. So I'm happy that there is a supermarket here, but if I was gonna live here longer, 100%, I would go to the weekly market, buy all of my fruits and vegetables there, and just come here for you know, the, the few kind of things here and there. Um, the one place I really wanted to like is the butcher, on my corner, but the chicken there is so much more expensive than the supermarket. So, unfortunately, I'm too cheap to buy the butcher chicken, so selling for a bear. And for some reason they're closed today, but here it is normally. So guys, tell me in the comments. I'm very, very curious. Is it just California where farmers markets are more expensive than supermarkets? for fruits and vegetables? Or is that just like a California thing where somehow it's like bougie to go? Because you would think it'd be the opposite. You think it would be like Greece where farm direct would always be cheaper. And that's one thing I really like about living in Athens or Greece. And one reason why I would consider staying longer, but I think you guys know where my heart is. Wouldn't be terrible here.